up everybody, it's your boy Destroyer Babes back again with another E-Juice review video. This is episode number 42. 42 big videos. Today we are going to be talking about the company, the Philosopher's Stone uh, LLC. I don't know if that's, I think that's just like a copyright thing. I'm not too sure. Boom! They sent me five wonderful flavors to uh, review for their video here. Boom, right here, Destroyer Babes. Uh little bit about the company here. I'm going to pull up their website, which is actually a really, really cool looking website. I actually was pretty impressed with it. And it's, uh, it's very sophisticated, very, very smart. Uh, anyways, every TPS, which is the Philosophy Stone, e-liquid is a small batch handcrafted and steeped for a minimum of 30 days. Each bottle was hand dipped into an FDA approved wax with a nylon reinforced tear tape to ensure tamper resistance. That means ain't nobody breaking into these fucking bottles. Every bottle comes with a childproof dropper to provide maximum safety. They mean safety, but they should have just said security because you're not getting into these bottles. So, uh, the Philosopher's Stone products contain nicotine and are not suitable for people under the age of 18 or for women that are pregnant or are nursing. Keep all nicotine products out of reach of children and pets. The, the objective of the Philosopher's Stone is to produce a five star superior e liquid product that excels to a class all by itself. So, uh, Destroyer does his own five-star reviews. Uh, I have not tasted all of these. I think I tasted two of them so far. So we'll see if they're five stars or not on the on the Destroyer radar here. Uh, it is actually really hard to get a five-star rating. Um, first off, their bottles, boom. As you can tell by the pictures I posted in the video, they do come with that FDA-approved uh, hand-dipped wax. Uh, the only thing I did not like about that was the tearaway tape was a, it was a little hard to get to, but they're making it safe for everyone, so I can't complain too much. Uh, it should come with instructions, though, on how to tear that stuff away. Uh, I had to dig at it with a knife on a couple bottles, and uh, <clears throat> but it wasn't it wasn't like uh, like an all day thing. Like it didn't take me all day to bust open these bottles. It only took me a few minutes, which is fine. Do not mind at all. First flavor we are gonna take a taste from is. What is this? Magnum Opus. Boom! The labels are really well put together. Really fucking cool. Their logo, name of the juice. And over here it's got the description, the milligram, and uh, batch date. Uh, made in the U.S. And then the, the nicotine warning um, for the FDA. Uh, everything they need to be able to produce and sell their liquids. I'm um, sorry, their batch number was uh, is on the bottom of the bottles. It's actually the, the, the birthday of the bottle, of the, of the juice, of the batch. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to drip up some of this Magnum Opus on my uh, my RDA here. I'm going to be vaping at about 150 watts. I like my vapes hot and uh, spicy. Um, vaping on the Lazimo 200 watt box. Just dripped it on. Let's show some cloud production for Magnum Opus. Really fucking good. So Magnum Opus is a kiwi and cantaloupe with refreshing notes of watermelon and a hint of vanilla cream. I can taste the kiwi, I can taste the cantaloupe, I can taste the hint of the watermelon. On the exhale I could taste a little bit of the vanilla. I wish the vanilla was a little bit heavier. Uh, but wow, that's a really good fucking juice. Um, you, you get the fruits through and through the whole thing, and then on the exhale, you get a, a little hint of the uh, the vanilla, which is just it's just phenomenal. It's really good. Whew. Uh, so on the uh, Destroyer Vapes five star rating, I'm definitely gonna give that four and three quarters on a star uh, star rating. That's really good, really really good juice, really well put together. Um, it's it's just delicious. Uh, I, I really like it. And if you're into those flavors, uh, this is probably one of the better ones that I've tried, especially uh, with cantaloupe. Cantaloupes never sit well with me, but it's not overpowering like most cantaloupes are. Cantaloupes are very overpowering flavor, and uh, it's all mixed, just mixed well together. It's just it's really well put together. I, I really enjoy it. So on to the next. <laughs> Right up, this, and it's a right, up to the 
Philosopher's Stone is their flavor. Immortality. Boom. Uh, the bottles are virtually identical to the last bottle, uh, just a little bit different on the uh, like the logo and, and the name of the, the bottle or the name of the flavor. Uh, batch number still there on the bottom, which is awesome. Um, I think it's always smart for uh, companies to put batch numbers or batch dates on their uh, their, their bottles. Um, a lot of companies don't, which I don't quite understand why you're kind of looking out after your own ass there. So, anyways. <clears throat> uh, Immortality is a luscious strawberry and rich vanilla custard in a velvety combination. Woo! Uh, I've never really been hip on uh, strawberries. I have yet to taste this one yet. Uh, the strawberry flavors have always been kind of bitter to me. Um, uh, I've actually had a few that kind of just taste like burnt cardboard before. So I'm going to drip this up on uh, a Twisted Messes RDA on my Sub-Zero Shorty Mech Mod. Um, which I don't usually use Mech Mods, but... Immortality. I'm super stoked to try this. A little bit of a little leakage there off my RDA. It's stupid RDA. Anyways, let's see some cloud production for immortality. Wow, that's actually really good. The strawberry is a sweeter strawberry, which is perfect. Uh, uh, and then you definitely get a heavy cream custard in there, which is, and it blends well together um, through and through. Inhale, exhale, you get a strawberry and you get a cream at the same damn time. Uh, it's perfect for what it is for strawberries and uh, cream. Um, I know most companies have a strawberries and cream. A lot of companies fail with it in my eyes, but... Uh, Philosopher's Stone actually did a really good fucking job with it. I mean, I really, really, truly enjoy this. And I usually do not like strawberries and creams. I can see myself vaping the hell out of this. Probably within the next 24 hours, it'll be gone. Um, it's really, really thick, too. The, the flavoring's thick. Like, it's not it's not a, a, a light um, strawberry and light cream. It's, it's a thick strawberries and a thick cream. And it actually tastes like a natural strawberry, not an artificial strawberry. So... Uh, kudos to uh, uh, the Philosopher's Stone for Immortality. I'm going to give that four and three quarter stars. It's phenomenal. It's really good. On to the next one. All right, up next from the Philosopher's Stone is their flavor, Transmutation. Yeah, transmutation. Boom. Um, I'm not too sure what the names are about. I, I, I'm wondering if they're like sorcerers, uh, like spells or something. I'm not. Too, I'm not too sure. It, it sounds like it does, but uh, bottles virtually identical to the last bottles, the last two bottles. Uh, transmutation is a sweet raspberry and delectable pomegranate with hints of key lime. That sounds like it's right up my alley. Uh, I'm a huge key lime fan. Uh, I, 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 I like fruits. <laughs> um, I'm going to wipe some stuff up. I'm going to load this up. I haven't tasted this yet. I'm going to load it up on the uh, Lazimo 200 box again. I'm trying to switch out uh, each um, each flavor with a different with a different mod each time so it doesn't the flavors don't blend together. Let's see uh, let's see what this uh, transmutation tastes like in uh, cloud production. Sure as shit, you taste the raspberry, you taste the key lime, and you taste the uh, the pomegranate. The pomegranate's a little light, which is okay, I'm not a huge pomegranate fan. But you definitely taste the raspberry, and you, you, and you taste the lime, the key lime. One thing I like about that is the fact that they didn't try to say key lime pie. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's key lime. It's the actual fruit, the lime. Um, so you get that, uh, that citrusy along with the raspberry, which actually, I think raspberries kind of have a citrusy uh, aftertaste as well. Could be just me and my palate, but I don't know. But 
pop production's there, flavors there. Uh, that's really fucking good. Really, really fucking good. It's it's sweet. It's subtle. Uh, there's no overpowering flavor in it. You taste all three uh, on the inhale and the exhale, which is just is perfect. It's excellent. Uh, that's another four and three star or three and three and a quarter star uh, at juice right there. Uh, Transmutation by Philosopher's Stone. Really good. I highly recommend, it. especially if you guys are into those uh, really good all day vape uh, fruit flavors. Transmutation is, is, is it's really fucking good. I, I, I can't, uh, I, I mean, that's the only, the only way I can say or describe it. it they're 35 millimeter bottles, so then that's, that's that's five milliliters more than a 30 bottle, or a 30 mil bottle. So, uh, good job with Transmutation Philosopher Stone. On to the next one. All right, next up from the Philosopher's Stone is, boom, I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce this, and if I butcher the name, I'm sorry, but I think it's Kyrosopia is the name of it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, uh, C-H-R-Y-S-O-P-O-E-I-A, Kyrosopia, I think. Uh, anyways, uh, this is one of the juices I was dying to try as soon as I opened the box that they sent me. The ripe banana and a heavy blend of caramel and vanilla with notes of cinnamon and nutmeg. That just sounds fucking flawless. So, uh, I'm going to load this up on my uh, Sub-Zero and my uh, Twisted Messes. I'm going to show you guys some cloud production of this, let you know what it tastes like. Um, the nicotine that these guys use is really good nicotine, uh... There's no throat. There's no throat kick or throat burn. Um, I don't feel lightheaded after uh, I vape half a fucking bottle. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's really good nicotine. So kudos for that for buying or for purchasing, doing whatever you guys do to get really good nicotine. All right, let's see some clouds for Kyrosopia. Mm. This is me. I'm not even going to lie. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you this is a five-star uh, juice from Destroyer Vapes, which is really hard to get for me. Um, I, I, I love I love this juice. It's phenomenal. You taste the ripe banana. It's not it's not a, a, a artificial banana. You taste right off the goddamn tree, peeled, ripe banana. I mean, it's I guess that, that wouldn't really be ripe right off the tree like that, but uh, you taste the banana. You taste the cinnamon. You taste the nutmeg. You get the hint of the caramel. It's it's fucking flawless. It's it is amazing. It's flawless in a bottle is what it is. Um, this is definitely one of the best juices I've tried in a very very long time um, since probably the last time I did a five star review. And besides Kyrosopia, I've only done one five star review. So Kyrosopia is the recipient into my second five star review uh, flavor. It's it's phenomenal. Uh, I, it's, it's just, it's really fucking good. You get all the flavors, uh, inhale, exhale, mix well together. Uh, I'm, I can't wait to put my, uh, I, I use a Cleto 120 tank. I can't wait to just fill that fucker up in, with uh, Kyrosopia and just go at it. I, I can't wait. So kudos to Philosopher Stone for a five-star review from Destroyer Vapes. Uh, on to the next and, and the last. All right, last but not least, for the Philosopher's Stone's uh, e-liquid is the flavor Metamorphous. Boom. Metamorphous is a sweet strawberry yogurt with a decadent dollop of malted whipped cream. Uh, now, before I get into that, which that sounds phenomenal because I'm, I'm the biggest yogurt fan uh, for when it comes to e-juice. So, before I get into that, I just wanted to thank the owner and uh, his buddy Jason um for sending me uh the hat and the shirt um real cool shirt you could kind of let me see if i can show you the back of this damn thing uh, 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 uh. it's just a huge 
a huge logo of the Philosopher's Stone, the hat, comfortable, I'm a hat guy, so uh, kudos to you guys for that, um, I really appreciate that. So anyways, Metamorphosis, strawberry yogurt, dollop of whipped cream, sweet strawberry yogurt. So I'm going to load it up on the Lasmo real quick. Um, I have tried this. Um, it's been a few days. I only tried it for you know one drip, and then I went on to the, an, another bottle of Philosopher's Stone. So just to reminisce real quick. Give it a go. Phenomenal juice. Uh, I, I love it. Uh, the sweet strawberry isn't actually sweet strawberry. It's it's not the artificial strawberry. It's it's uh, it tastes like a natural strawberry. You taste the whipped cream. You, you even get the yogurt flavor in there. It's it's a phenomenal juice. Uh, on the five star Richter scale here, I'm gonna give it a four and three quarter star, which is really fucking good uh, for a Destroyer Vapes uh, review. Um, it's really good. You get the strawberry, you get the yogurt, you get the cream on the inhale and exhale. There's no uh, there's no downtime on any of it. Nothing falls off. It's just through and through. Strawberry, whipped cream, yogurt. Phenomenal. Uh, the whole Philosopher Stone's line, all juices, really good. I give the whole line four and three stars. Four and three quarter stars, except for the uh, Kyros Kyrosopia, which was a five star review, which is fucking awesome. Awesome juice. So, um, once again, to uh, uh, Ike and uh, Jason, thank you so much for the juice. Uh, let me do this review. It has been fun. Um, if you guys are wanting to purchase some Philosopher's Stone, I will leave all their uh, info in the description box down there in the video that you're watching now. Until next time, I am your boy Destroyer Vapes. Vape safely and vape on. Reach out.